Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm bringing you a lip swatch video of the Caked Lip Fondants. These are super matte liquid lipsticks and first can we just talk about how cute this packaging is? Look at that. It has sprinkles. Oh my goodness. Before we get into the swatches, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about these lip products. They do retail for $16 a piece and they are very, very matte. I love my liquid lipsticks to be super matte. These last for hours and hours, eating, drinking, they don't budge. That being said, they do feel pretty dry on the lips, so if you're somebody that does not like a super dry matte liquid lipstick, then you probably will not like these. However, I love the longevity of these, and the shades are so fun. The packaging's cute, which is always a plus, and they smell like vanilla cake batter. I do like to use a lip scrub before I apply these so that I don't have any like dry patches on my lips. I just use my Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub. It's my favorite lip scrub, but really anything will work. And I do like to apply some lip balm before I put these on. Because they're so long wearing, they can be difficult to remove. I use my Tarte Maracuja Oil to take off all of my liquid lipsticks. It's not harsh, it's really effective, and my lips actually feel great afterwards. So if you have any beauty oils, you can use these to take off your long wearing liquid lipsticks. There are nine shades. Caked was kind enough to send me all nine shades. They are not sponsoring this video. They don't even know I'm making this video. They aren't paying me to make this video. All right, now let's get into the shades. First, the shade that I'm wearing on my lips right now is called Copy Paste. It's a super pale kind of grayish, cool toned grayish nude color. And I did not think I would like this on me, but I'm actually surprised by how good it looks. Next we have the shade Forever Ever. I, I always sing the Outcast song in my head when I read this shade name. I really like this one. I could see this definitely being a favorite for a lot of people. It's just that nice pinky nude shade that a lot of people are comfortable with. This one I think does dry a little bit darker than when it first applies and I really like this shade. This is the shade QT. It's a little bit warmer and a little bit more brighter kind of peachy pink than the last shade. And this just goes on so incredibly. It glides on so smoothly. This is one coat and it just, it feels nice and it looks nice all day long. Now we have Creme de la Creme. This is a deeper, cool toned brown. The shade really reminds me of like a chocolate milkshake. I wish that this was called chocolate milkshake. That's exactly what it looks like to me. And again, just smooth, easy to apply. Really, really beautiful, cool toned brown shade. We're done with the nudes and we're moving into the brighter shades. This one is low key. It's a pinky red kind of raspberry color and I think this shade would be flattering on so many skin tones. It's one of those colors that it's not too bright, it's not too red, it's just right there in the middle and I am low key obsessed with this one. <laughs> Now we have what is probably my favorite shade out of the entire collection. This one's called Legit. It's a beautiful kind of deep berry wine color. And honestly, this is one coat on my lips and it's not shrieky at all. It's not hard to apply. I just, I love this color so much. If you're gonna order one single color, get this one, get Legit.
Next we have the shade Sweet Tooth and I would describe this as kind of a strawberry red. It's not very deep, it's more bright, and it's almost got a pinkish tint to it. It does remind me a little bit of Low Key, but you can tell when you see them side by side in the tube that Sweet Tooth is a lot brighter. Again, I think this is one of those shades that would just look beautiful on any skin tone, any skin color. This is the kind of shade that everyone can rock. This is the shade Jelly, and it is a very, very vibrant, bright purple. This one is the least wearable in my opinion, but if you're like, hey Amanda, bright purple is my go-to shade, then you know what? You do you, that's awesome, and you will love this shade. Again, this is one coat over the lips. I can't believe the even coverage that this gives. Usually these really bright shades come off kind of streaky, but this one just went on perfectly. We made it to the end. This is the last shade. It's called Power Trip. And as you can see, it's a very deep kind of brick red. It almost has a brownish undertone to it. And to be honest, I did not think I was gonna like this shade, but I ended up loving the way it complemented my fair skin, if I do say so myself. And this was a surprise favorite for me. So this is Power Trip. Now that we've finished with the lip swatches, I just want to give you a little roundup and then at the very end of the video, I will do a short demo of how I remove the liquid lipstick using oil. So if you are interested in seeing that, just stick around to the very end and I'll show you how I take off these lipsticks. The two shades that I've worn the most are QT and Legit. These two, kind of that warm peachy and then the deeper kind of berry tone color. I also really like these three. This is Copy Paste, Legit, and Power Trip. That's the one I'm wearing right now. I highly recommend all of these, but those are just my favorite shades based on my personal preference. I do not need to use a lip liner with these. I've never had a problem with them kind of bleeding around my lips or smearing at all. They do dry down really quickly, so you want to be careful as you're applying. Just take your time and, you know, mind, mind the lip line because these do dry really quickly. The brighter and darker shades do leave a bit of a stain on my lips. I notice it more with the bright pinks and the red. Those just, after I removed even with the maracuja oil, I do have a little bit of a stain on my lips, but when I put the next shade on, it doesn't really show through at all because these are so opaque. But just so that you're aware of that, the darker and bright shades do leave a little something behind after you take them off. These lip products are available for sale on Caked Makeup's website. I will link it below if you're interested. Like I said, I'm not an affiliate with them. I don't make any money. I just really like these and I wanted to share them with you. So let me know what your favorite shade is. Do you have any of these? Do you love them as much as I do? Leave a comment and let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So here is how I remove this super matte lipstick. As you can see, it barely budges with a makeup wipe. I just take one or two drops of the Tarte Maracuja oil. This is my favorite oil. And I just coat my lips and then take the makeup wipe and wipe it right off. It comes off so quickly, so easily. It doesn't irritate my lips or make them feel super dry. This just makes my lips feel so nourished after a long day of wearing a matte lipstick. And it's super easy. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? As usual. Can't get it together. My light looks super weird. Oh, 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 don't break your camera. Don't do it. <laughs> what? This tart maracuja oil.
It's... Ah, shit. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have red lipstick on my face. Cool. Hope that hasn't been noticed. Awesome.